Hey guys, it's April with Crafting with April. Um, a lot of times when you guys are having an issue, you'll ask us uh, what you can do to fix the problem. And we um, tell you to give us a screenshot of your, I apologize, a screenshot of your layers panel and your canvas. And what we mean is this is your canvas and this over here is your layers panel. If you'll notice there's nothing in mine. If I can get my mouse to work here. Um, but when you have your images in there, and I'm going to pick a couple just so that we can show. Um, that one will work. That one will work. Let's see. Um, was looking for something that might be printed. Let's go here and uh, let's get a free. I'll just pick one here and I'm going to insert those images. Now that I have images in here, you can see over here in the layers panel. So if you can't get it to slice or you don't have contour or flattens not available, without seeing this, we really are doing guesswork. Have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done that? Um, so when you're posting your problems, if you will just on a Mac, I'm going to show you both ways, Command Shift 4 and you don't have to give us all the information up top and all your tabs that are open and things on your computer. We just need to see this. So I just took a picture. I just dragged it around and I included the top portion of this layers panel, the bottom portion of this layers panel, everything in it, and my project. So if you want to scoot them over just closer to it like this, that's fine too. And then you're just going to control. Command Shift 4 on a Mac, and you'll get that little arrow at, or crosshairs like I have here. And then I just need to see this area that is grayed out there. Then, once you do that, you'll come over to Facebook. Let me just go over to a fresh page here. And you'll click on add photo. You'll actually go to your post and upload the photo. And then upload the photo. And mine is the last screenshot I took. And choose that. And it's going to input that screenshot there so that we can um, see what's going on. So that's what we see. And that's all we see when you do that. Whatever you've got in those crosshairs. So that that really helps us um, when we're trying to help you. Now if you're on a Windows computer, and I'm not on a Windows computer, so I'm just going to come over here and I am going to type in snipping tool Windows so that I can show you guys what it looks like. And right here on your Windows computer you have this snipping tool. And um, if you go to support at Microsoft or just type in snipping tool, it'll tell you how to get there, how to do a free form, a rectangular, and rectangular window is all we need. You can even do a full screen and just save it as a JPEG. Um, but you'll just clip it, rectangle snip. You'll snip it just like I did with the Command Shift 4 and the crosshairs on ours um, on the Macs. And here are your keyboard shortcuts. And then you're just going to do the same thing when you get over to Facebook. You're going to click on your post and click on the photo and insert that screenshot to show us and say, hey, what's going on? I'm trying to flatten. It won't let me flatten. Or I, my contour is not available. Slice is not available. We can look at that and give you the quickest, fastest help if we can just see your image and see this. If you've got an extra second, just tell us. It's a design space image or I uploaded the image. That's going to get you the quickest, fastest help without us doing tons of guesswork. I hope this helps you guys out. And if you have any more questions on using the snipping tool or your capture tool with Matt, 
just let me know and I'll be happy to help you out.